Hey everybody, I'm Rocco Despirito, and I'm glad you're back because today we're going to be talking about why Mediterranean food is so light and delicious, and it's all because of the olive oil. Olive oil is the lifeblood that pumps through the heart of the Mediterranean cooking, and I'll be making three dishes with olive oil. I call this yummy bread, and it's a version of what my mom ate that I learned in Spain, which is another great part of the Mediterranean. First thing you do is you rub the garlic clove on the bread. You're kind of grating the garlic clove. You're creating a little paste, but it's like micro garlic now. There isn't gonna be one bite that is too powerful. Then, take a tomato that's been cut in half, and you rub it on. Then, you add olive oil, just enough to coat the top, and then some salt. And I like to put pepper on everything. And it's a great little appetizer. It's kind of a flavored bruschetta. It's good, right? Good. Now, the best oils are cold pressed. However, olive oil that is heat processed is still good for cooking and still has olive oil flavor. But the most important thing for you guys to know though is the difference between extra virgin cold press and regular olive oil, uh, the fact that extra virgin cold press is better for seasoning and the regular olive oil is better for cooking. And more good news about Bertoli, their Mediterranean style frozen dinners are all finished with extra virgin olive oil. All right, so the next dish I'm gonna make is my grandmother's eggs. She would fill a pan with what looked like gallons of olive oil to me. She'd put a few cloves of garlic in there. I know it looks like an extraordinary amount of olive oil, but trust me, it's good. She'd crush up a few cloves, and then she'd just start breaking eggs in the pan. And so she'd serve me all these eggs and expect me to eat five or six eggs as a kid. And you know what? They were so good, I always did eat them. And then at the end, there was this wonderful olive oil that was flavored with eggs and garlic that you would just mop up with all her homemade bread. It was just delicious, delicious, delicious stuff. So as it was cooking, she would tilt the pan and take the hot olive oil and baste the eggs. So they were kind of bubbly and fried up top, still soft in the middle, and fried around the edges, kind of browned around the edges. I think it's the perfect way to cook an egg. So she would do that, and then she'd just pour all this olive oil on top. All of it. And then she would serve it with a bunch of bread, and I would just sit there and eat it. No, some pepperoncino in there would be great, too. Okay, go for it. There you go. Does you like it? Oh good. My good. So good. If you're making dinner and you decide to go with a Bertoli frozen pasta meal, the perfect accompaniment is a great salad. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna show you a vinaigrette. And I use red wine vinegar, mustard, dried oregano, and olive oil, and salt and pepper. Mustard won't fall through this so easily, so I put it in first, and I use the vinegar to help me make it go into the jar. And you want to use one part vinegar to about three parts olive oil. And do the same thing with the oregano. And again, mustard doesn't fall through a funnel so easily, so we're using the olive oil to help us get it in there. If you shake it really vigorously, it emulsifies. It becomes sort of one unit instead of separated, and that's all you have to do. My mom would always use escarole. It's really inexpensive. It's a great flavored green because it's got some personality. So and this is all you have to do to make a salad. If you want even more information about olive oil and you know all its varieties and, and all its nuances, go to my blog. There's so much to know. It's a, you know, it's a sacred ingredient in the Mediterranean, and it's got so much character and personality. When you join me next time, we're gonna be putting the finishing touches on a great Mediterranean-style meal for you at home.